everybody! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming! Today we are doing another episode of the Shapeshifting Detective. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, it's a little bit, uh, it's definitely a series you have to watch in chronological order. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes, I recommend going back and watching those. Um, because this is a detective case, so you really need to know everything that's happening, and it's too much for me to recap right now. Um, but I'm gonna go on to the next chapter now. So... Uh, we know that there's something called a traveler that's going town to town and killing people and these tarot card readers are chasing after them So we're gonna go and update the chief with what we know about anything that. anything else on Zach Weston? Let me know. Okay. Well, we talked to Zach uh, Oh, no, we didn't talk to Zach. We talked to her boyfriend, but we know that Zach was taking Bordor Boudreur Boudreur? I can't say that word And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but boudoir. Fall, There's definitely a strong connection between those two then is there? Maybe they were for Oscar, or maybe they're for someone else. Maybe they're for Oscar. Perhaps go and ask him about it. Okay. What do we know? Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. You're still following up Birmingham. Keep me posted. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned the word traveler to me, but he's not like. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. Hmm. That's it. All right. Uh, well, let's leave then. Let's visit her boyfriend. What do you know about those pictures, buddy? No. Who's that? Okay, so this Zach guy was connected to Dorota. Took pictures of her. Were they sleeping together? What makes you think that? I don't know. You can tell me if she was. I don't care. Look, I mean, if you're going care. around asking all these questions, if you find out anything like that, I want you to tell me. Okay. Um, of course. Thanks, Sam. Don't let me mourn if I shouldn't. Damn, dude, she's still dead. Did Dorda show you her boudoir her pictures? Boudoir photos. Boudoir. She sent some private photos to me by foot. Do you mean them? No. Professional. I get it now. That's why you're asking about Zach Weston. Maybe I should pay him a visit. No, no, no. Let me do that. All right, let's go visit Zach. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. Uh, are you Zach Weston? You're friends with Violet Gallagher. Were you here? Where were you last night? Are you Zach? Yes. Uh, what do you want? Okay. Well, I'm working with Chief Dupont, or the Shaw has hired me. Uh, do we want to say there? Let's just say the Shaws hired me. The Shaws. Oh, you mean that girl who got killed? What was her name? Yeah. Dorothy. You never met Dorota. I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Wait, Dorota. Dorota. I remember now. Okay. Uh, so you photographed her, you're friends with Violet Gallagher, or you? where were you last night? Uh, let's say you photographed her, Oda. For the August Chronicle. Uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. That's not what we're talking about. No, I went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. Okay, so you know where she lived. If you ask me to drive there without my sat-nav, no. Sat-nav? I'm having to Google Maps. Uh, okay, so was that the only time you met Dorota? You're friends with Violet Gallagher, or where were you last night? Say, was that the only time you met her? No, actually, I've been running a special up on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. Are you gonna show me these boudoir pictures? <sighs> can see. There's photos here. Yeah, those are nice photos. Yeah. Now this one's in color. Beautiful hair. Oh, legs wrapped around. <laughs> Another one here. Oh, hang on. Getting sexy now. Do you see what I see? She's beautiful. What do you see? I think she's just a very attractive girl. That's all. 
It's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay. She's dead. <laughs> uh, did you take any other pictures of Dort? What do you mean? Look, dude, you know what I mean. Violet told me. Violet needs to mind her own business. I didn't want to mention them out of respect for the dead. You've heard of boudoir photography. Boudoir. Boudoir it's photography? It's all very tasteful. Boudoir photographs are all about leading the eye and letting the imagination do the work. Is that what it is? Most photographers mess it up. It's not supposed to resemble a Victorian whorehouse. Sounds rad, though. Uh, who did Dorda get them for? Yeah, she didn't say. Her boyfriend, I assume. Would you, uh, like to see them? Why are you rubbing your hands together like that, dude? Alright, yes, I want to see them. <laughs> you just keep them? <sighs> Alright, let's see it. As you can see, it's all very artistic. The rotor was a natural. She lit up the front of the camera. <laughs> Want to see the videos? Videos? Holy hell! How far did this go, dude? Damn, she cute. He knows she cute too. Uh, yeah. Where is this going? <laughs> Here they are. Oh no, that one. Ah, this is the one. Damn, dude. Let's see this. Show me the goods. Yeah. Whoa, she's gorgeous, dude. Damn. Oh, I like that lamp. The lighting is amazing. There's more. There's more? Uh, show me more. This is the stuff. This is the stuff? Can I show this on YouTube? <laughs> Jesus. There's nothing happening. She's just choking herself with the pearls. Are you sure she didn't choke herself? She looks uncomfortable. Uh, why is she running away from you? She's, um, how you say, um, acting? Uh huh. Dude, what'd you do? Uh, that, okay, so. That definitely leads me to believe that he was doing something he should not have been doing with Dorda. <sighs> uh, where were you last night then, huh? Here. I'm usually here most nights. Uh, can anyone confirm? Only the roof rats. Roof rats, right. Are you friends with Violet Gallagher? Friends, yes. I know Violet very well. How well? Violet takes it very well, actually. Takes what very well? I like him like that. What? With the frosty exterior comes a soft, warm center. So you're sleeping with her. I'm sorry, my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes, we have sex. Okay, well, good to know, I guess. Uh, I think the chief wanted to date Violet. I say date lately. Um, all right. So should we visit the chief? Visit Oscar? Visit Zach? Let's visit Oscar and see if he knew about this. Hey, Oscar. Oh, he can't. Okay. So let's go to the chief. Tell him what we learned. Uh, Zach was in his studio last that's night. That's what he says, but no one can back him up. He's on my radar now. He should be. Honestly. Motive? I, I think you're supposed to tell me that. <laughs> if he was taking photos of Dorota, maybe he fell for her? And the feeling wasn't mutual. Mm. Artists have muses, apparently. Well, we know that he's into Shall redheads. Uh, all right. So let's go back to the guest house and question uh, Violet about her friend. Hi, Violet. Let's talk about Zach Weston again. Oh, do we really have to? You seem to like him. You don't want to talk about him? He says you're in a relationship, or he says that you're sleeping together. He says that you're sleeping together. How vulgar. Yes, I suppose that is what he'd say. But I've never let him lay a finger on me. Okay. He says we're in a relationship, but he doesn't act like it. Oh, he doesn't act like it? What does he say? 
He says he loves me, but I'm the only one for him. Do you love him? A rose by any other name? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, okay. Ouch. What was that? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, why is there a kid here? Um, whoa. I don't like that. Definitely don't like that. What the hell was that? Uh, no one wants to talk to me about the kid? Violet, is there a kid in the hallway? Can't talk to Violet about the kid in the hallway, okay. It's a Bronwyn. <sighs> Sam, look, I, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Gotta pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in too late too. I, I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? It sounds like a interesting job. I would like to watch a stream of that. All right, uh, let's go visit Rain. Hi, you're not doing work for paying the bills? So Birmingham. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. Okay. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl, Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Its thing? Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The Traveller wanted three. What the hell? Why did the Traveller want three you victims? Should ask She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. Do you know Zach Weston? Tell me about the Travellers. Tell me about the Travellers. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. Oh, God. Other worlds? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Quantum physics is real, didn't you know? <laughs> um, there are many universes. In technical terms, a traveller is a trans-dimensional being far more superior to us, in as much as they can choose which reality to hang out in. We just get this one. Travelers can inhabit us? Yes, disturbingly. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. That's weird. All right, in simple terms? They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. So you think the murderer was a traveler? Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat-nav us to normal murders. Sat-nav, there's that word again. Do you know Zach Weston? I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh no. Um, he did mention Dorota. What about Dorota? He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was Dorota Shaw. Uh, what? So he knew that Dorota would be alone, so he went to her house. That's weird. Why didn't you tell me that at first? And why is there that kid in the hallway? What is that about? Uh, I guess we'll visit Lexi. Maybe she'll answer that. Oh, she's busy all night. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously, though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? Okay. Well, I don't think we have a clock. Oh, is that the time? That was 9 o'clock, so I guess she had her time. 9.30. Um, okay, well... Go to our room and change into somebody. Ugh. God, is a kid in our room? Well, we can change into so many people now. Oh, wait, not Lexi, apparently. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's do him. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Perfect. All right. Let's go talk to Lex. Not Lexi, Violet. Our girlfriend. Zack! What are you doing here? Look quick, don't let anyone see you. Jesus, what's her deal? Why don't you want anyone to see me? What? 
You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? What? I wanted to make sure we were still okay. What did you do? What did you say to Sam? She's so pretty. Everyone's talking about Dorota. Are you happy Dorota's dead? I didn't say that. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. Okay. She didn't throw herself at you. Why do you think that? The boudoir sessions. Some girls get the wrong idea. I saw how she was looking at you. She wanted it. Damn, dude. Come on. How do you, you know were you were there? there? No, silly. But I saw the photo. She was hiding in the closet. Everyone's talking about Dorota. I know. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. Damn, dude. People like what? Is that why you killed her? Mm, do I want to make her mad? I went on. That's not funny, Zack. What if Sam heard? Okay, so maybe she didn't do it. But then who did? It's that little girl we saw in the hallway. I'm pretty sure of it. It was creepy. I still don't know what that was about or who that little girl was or anything about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Who did it? Uh, let me know down below and please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss my next episode. Uh, let's keep playing this and find out who did it. Uh, but yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it. And I'll see you guys all then. Bye, everybody.